Uh, I went to school at St John's Grammar School in Adelaide till year 12 and then I really wanted to do medicine so I tried to do, tried to get in in my gap year but didn't quite get through the, the final stage so then I decided to go back to cycling so I think if I hadn't made it then I probably wouldn't be riding today. Uh, so then I decided to do health science part time and uh, I yeah I just I found it quite hard. Um, I was trying to do both uh, racing overseas and do it and study and I just thought nah I'm gonna have to postpone and have another crack at it later when I'm ready for it so haven't finished my second amount of study and I'm, I'm pretty keen I'm gonna go, to go back after I finish writing but yeah we'll see. Um, I studied languages at school and then I went to university for two years but then I tried the cycling career and until now it's working quite all right. Um, luckily for me then I could join the police and I hope once to be a policewoman. Um, well I left school when I was 17 and I actually moved straight to Holland just to focus on cycling. Um, yeah sport was always something that I loved doing. I was yeah playing football, playing you know everything that there was at school. Education wise I wasn't the best uh, <laughs> but no just recently I've actually passed my one by one eyelash uh, technician course so I'm now a qualified yeah eyelash technician. <laughs> I'm fortunate that Lucy has learned how to do individual eyelash extensions so yeah I'm, I'm her model at the minute so yeah I'm pretty pleased about that. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so I went to school, um, went straight through and completed my A-levels. Um, I never really completed them with the intention to go to uni, but I'm glad I stayed with it and yeah, maybe one day I'll go back to my education in the future, but for now, just cycling. Yeah. yeah, just passed my gel polish course, so I'm hoping to do that on the side. So you can come to the Ghana Salon. <laughs> <laughs> I did dance when I was young, so I've always done the fake lashes, the makeup, all that business, so I'm quite uh, competent when it comes to that. Um, with my school, I finished year 12 and I enrolled in engineering at uni when I had a year off writing. Weirdest thing I've ever done. I'm like the total opposite of an engineer, um, and I just found that out within the first couple of weeks. Um, I'm really love to do something medical. I thought about doing medicine, but I don't want to go to uni for half my life. So I'm thinking more being a paramedic because it's, you know, really high paced and sort of similar to being an athlete, heaps of highs and lows. And I think I'd be really good at it. So I might go to that after I finish cycling. Um, I went to school in Tasmania, a small, uh, yeah, very small school on the Northwest Coast. I uh, finished high school and I went on to go to, I had to move to Adelaide to relocate for my cycling and I was studying online but the course uh, that I was doing online stopped and it wasn't possible anymore so I just continued with my cycling and moved to Belgium and learning Flemish so uh, well, I'd really love one day to op open a coffee shop in Belgium but first it's yeah my cycling and then that's something that I would definitely love to do after cycling. Uh, I stayed in school until I was 18 so finished my A-levels while being um, a professional cyclist so travelled around the world, basically did school as an online course uh, so I was really lucky that my teachers let me do that. Um, I'm now halfway through a degree in human biology and mental health so I'm hoping to maybe go into a job in that at, at some point um, but it is quite hard to do it alongside studies so I don't know what kind of job I'm gonna, or grade I'm gonna end up with at the end of it. I, I study in a university uh, about uh, physical education because I want to work uh, something sports uh, field but uh, when uh, I was 20 years old, uh, second grade in university, I start cycling and now I'm a professional cyclist. I never imagine now a uh, position because I do professional athlete. Yeah, but uh, after career, I want to work, uh, keep working in uh, cycling or sport. Uh, I studied for physical education. I'm a teacher. I worked a few years at school in the beginning of my cycling career, but it was too much with everything, and I stopped. And now I'm just cycling. 
then after cycling I can go back to school and work as a teacher. I finished school, the normal school, general school, with my bachelor and when I got it I went to the university for one year studying English, Spanish and Chinese but I only did it for one year because then I decided to go in a other, like totally other studies. I started to do a real estate agent studies so I've been doing that for two years and then I couldn't continue because I had to work and it was too much with cycling so I decided to do only cycling um, but I had also a part job next to cycling um, who was a um, sport teacher uh, in the office where I'm living and then I stopped this year to be only cyclist and after my career I would like to stay as a manager or a director in a team. Well, I finished just a regular high school back in Sweden when I was 18. I got picked up by a big team back in the days, T-Mobile, and I decided to give cycling a couple of years just to focus on that. And then I sort of got stuck in and I moved to Spain and then I haven't been gone back to school really. So I feel I've done the cycling school mostly and um, at least I've taken with me a lot of learning from moving to a different country and a different culture and all that that I'm really happy for and I feel like it's given me a lot and then in the future I have a lot of ideas probably what I would like to do and also a lot what I wouldn't do but um, one dream would be to open a bed and breakfast somewhere in the nice countryside and have a nice little house maybe a couple of dogs and cook and just have a good life. Um, after my school, I started studying. I finished uh, two studies uh, in economics and uh, pedagogics in economics. And um, after my studies, I decided to um, start cycling. So I started cycling about I uh, was 23 years old. Um, yeah, and um, then I start uh, after. While I was cycling, I also started working in a bank as a controller. Um, yeah, and uh, since one year, I'm manager of a sports company. Yeah, after cycling, I will uh, just work as a, a manager. But I want to do something in cycling in Austria because um, uh, it needs a lot to improve in Austria. Uh, when I left school, I applied to um, study languages, which I don't like to admit to because, uh, well, I'm not, I'm not very good, but um, <clears throat> at uh, Glasgow University, um, and I deferred the spot, and then uh, I got uh, basically I wrote to them and said, um, I'm going to be, I'm going to be a full-time cyclist, um, and I thought that they'd write back and say like, that's fantastic, we'll hold it for you, just whenever you're ready to continue your education, you can come come and study with us, uh, but they didn't, they, they just said good luck. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> so I spent a year working uh, just in my family business, so that's good that we can plug that, <laughs> uh, which is Archer Sleep Centre, um, and we'll eventually um, move down to Manchester to pursue a career as a yeah, full-time sports person. Good, yeah, I just did high school actually, um, and then I started doing university, however, I missed all my exams because I was up racing so it didn't really work out as planned um so yeah i had to just drop out and i've been just riding my bike ever since and sort of sometimes would like to study next to cycling but we don't really have a lot of options in denmark with online education systems and being on the road all the time and barely being in denmark it's just too hard so i guess i'm sort of hoping that in the future there'll be better opportunities for this and I think I'm quite open-minded about exactly what I want to study. I think if, if options like this open. Um, so yeah, we see, but for now I just ride my bike. I have studied the economy school in normal school and uh, now I just uh, start to University of uh, Sport and uh, yeah, I think uh, can be the future of the, the bike uh, life and uh, yeah, because I like both, I like both sport and uh, I would like uh, stay in the um, 
more of the support, also for training, also for be a nice teacher, maybe, I don't know. And uh, yeah, I'm also in a team of police team, and maybe in the future can be a coach for the um, police team um, uh, of the cyclists. Then, yeah, I really like this, uh, stay in uh, the cyclist uh, life. So um, next to being a cyclist, I'm uh, actually at the army in Germany, so I'm a sports soldier, which means that um, I, I had to go through all the different kind of um, steps in military education uh, for becoming a higher rank and stay within the army. Um, but for the rest, they are supporting me in my, um, yeah, in my career as a cyclist. And uh, yeah, it's really nice to have them and uh, to have the support of the German army. And uh, I just recently started uh, studies. It's uh, like yeah, alternative medicine kind of things. So, um, yeah, I can treat people later with um, homeopathic products or um, acupuncture, um, things like that. Uh, but in the end, I want to become an osteopath.